Good day everyone and welcome to another video in the Stormworks Basics series. And today I will try to explain how composite works, what it can be used for and what it actually is, as this was quite a requested topic. So let's get into it with me trying to explain what it actually is. So as you know, composite is a logic signal and composite is basically a bunch of different signals compacted into one small signal. So instead of having 32 nodes, you can have just one. Composite works on a system of writers and readers. Writers write the signal and the readers read it. So basically a writer gets in, for example, some numbers. It assigns every number a special number or every on-off signal. It sends it to the reader and the reader reads those signals because it knows their channels. So basically if you make one signal out of many other signals, you need a way to discern between all of those signals you just put in. So you are going to assign every one of those signals a different channel. So now, where can it be used? Well, there are three, as I like to call them, types of composite uses. The first one is with blocks that do have a composite signal, but it's not really important. You don't have to use it, as with this seed, where you can take your signals from here or here, or like normal data signals, or you can use composite with this one that just takes all of these signals and puts them into this and makes different channels out of them. Now then there are blocks that need the signal to work. For example, with the instrument panel, you only have the backlight instrument as data then everything else is composite. And then there's the third type, and that is the microcontrollers that are made to either read or write. Now, one important thing about microcontrollers and composite is that in almost every scenario, you will need a composite microcontroller. So let's first start off by just connecting this pilot seed to our instrument panel and seeing what it does. So now currently, here in dial number one, it should show us our AD inputs. Dial number two, if we switch it to channel two, which channel two is for WS, it should show us WNS. Channel three is arrows left and right. And channel four is up down. Now, as I said in the start, there are many types of composite signals. If we turn this to indicator, we will see that it says channel on off. That lets us pick between this channel number one and this channel number one. Now let's leave this as numbers. Let's spawn it. Now here we can see that when we do W, this is going to go up. When we do S, it's going to go down. Because this seed gives us a number and we are sending that number here. If we do AD, the first style is going to do this because it is on channel number one and this seed outputs AD as channel number one. If we do arrows up down, it's going to do this. And if we do arrows left right, it's going to do this one. Now, if we switch this to some type of an on off thing, for example, an indicator, it's gonna work on on off. So as you can see, if we do WS, nothing is happening. But if we do one, this is going to turn on. If we do two, the second one is going to turn on. If we do three, because three is on channel three, 
the third one or the one we have on channel 3 is going to turn on. Now that obviously isn't the only way we can use these as we can use them with microcontrollers. So let's say we have two keypads, we have a throttle and we have a humidity sensor. And we want all of these to go here. So if we do this, we just can't connect it here. That just doesn't work. So we have to write a composite signal using a writer. Now first, considering that these are all numbers, let's turn this to something numbery. Now these are all numbers. But we still can't connect them. So we need to make a composite signal out of this. We can do that, as I said, using a writer. So let's make one. So we wanted four nodes. That means that we are going to make space for four, but also we are going to be outputting a composite signal. So let's make a two by three. Now we will add nodes. All of these four will be for our numbers, so let's just turn them as numbers. Here, let's name what channel they will be. Now, we need a composite output. Here, we enter logic. And we have all of these. Now, how do we create a composite output out of this? Well, considering that this writes a composite signal, we will need a composite write. And this is a number signal, so we will pick number. Now here we will left click on this. And how many channels do we want? We want four because there are four nodes on that instrument panel. Now let's plug every one of these into their respective channels. So input one is basically channel one. Input two is channel two. Input three, channel three. Input four, channel four. Now this gives us a composite signal. We can put this into an input or an output actually. Now, there's also one other node. This one basically works if we have one other composite signal, let's say an on of one. We will plug it in here and it will work on the same principle when we read it. Now, this is all done. Quite easy. Now here, we have all of these nodes here. And here we finally converted it into a composite. So let's put it in here. We should know that this is number one, this is number two, and so on. Now let's spawn it in and let's see. So let's use our photo lever. This is going to go up because this one is also going up. And we can see that it's the second instrument because we plugged in channel two into the second instrument. Let's say we want to change the first instrument to 5. So let's put in 5 here. And boom, it's changed. Do we want to change this one to 6? Well, we can. It's now 6. And that's how this works. And this also works the same on on-offs. Let me just show you that. Now I again did the same thing but just with on-off inputs and if we click logic here I just used write on-off because these are on-off inputs. So let's spawn this in, double check that everything is connected and apparently not. So let's connect it. If we click on this one the first instrument should be on. So let's double check if that actually works. Yep, it does. This one should give me the fourth one. 
Yes, it does. This, do this. So that's how the writer works. Now let's check out the reader element. Because it's not only an in signal that this thing has, but it's also an out signal. So we will again get the microcontroller. And let's say we again want four nodes, so let's do two by three. Now let's get the composite node, and because we want to read the output that the instrument panel is giving us, we are going to have an input here. And these are all going to be outputs. Now here we have our channels. And we also have our input. And we need to read this input. So we are going to use a composite read. And this is on off. So we are going to use composite read on off. And let's say we want number 4 to be channel 4. Number 3 to be channel 3. Number 2 to be channel 2. Now connect this signal to all of these and connect each individual one to their respective numbers. Now spawn it and change this. Change this to some kind of a way to output an on-off signal. And it's just going to tell you here, channel out on-off, because it's outputting an on-off signal. It's basically writing an on-off signal. So let's all change this to flip switches, as these are most commonly used. And we obviously have all of these channels here. Now plug this in into this here. And let's say that we want to turn on four different lights by this one. So let's do, this is one, this will be two this will be 4 and this will be 3 spawn it so this is 1 and it should turn on this one right it does this one should turn on the third one right yes it does this one should do the fourth one it also does now let's use this on something different so one other thing that is commonly used and is a composite thing is an RGB light and the RGB light only takes in a composite signal if we do data no we can't see it here so we need to know which channel is which this obviously has three channels because R G and B and because it goes RGB then the first channel is going to be for red the second one is going to be for green and the third one is going to be for blue so let's say we want to operate this light using three throttles but we can't put them in so let's make a microcontroller for that using our knowledge we know that we will have to write a signal and we will have four inputs and outputs or logic nodes so let's do width of four now let's bring in all of these three nodes. Let's name them R for red, G for green, and B for blue. Now these will obviously have to be numbers. And we are also going to be converting them to composite. So let's do composite output. Now let's clean this up. Here we have three number outputs to one composite input. So let's write the composite. And because this is a number, let's use composite write number. These are three channels. So let's do channel count of three. And let's plug in these into their respective channels. Let's plug this in into the output, let's put this here, 
and let's put all of these in. This is going to be red, green, and blue. Let's name these red, green, blue. And the final step composite output to composite input. I'll spawn it in and let's see. Let's say we want it only red. Boom, red. What about green? Works. And what about blue? Also works. Let's do green and blue. Or let's do red and green. Or let's do blue and red. All of these work. Thanks to the magic of composite. Now for example, with composite we can do lights like these. That slowly turn on. That can switch to RGB mode. And things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this and I mainly hope you learned something from this. Composite is used a ton on basically every creation. And for some reason there aren't many tutorials on it on YouTube. When I wanted to learn composite I had to learn it my own way. Because I couldn't really find anything on the internet that would tell me how it worked. So I hope this makes it easier for all of you. And I hope you can make your builds better with this. As composite is a really good skill to know how it works. But now without further ado, see ya.